Landon with the small mouth first cast. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ripping lips. We're out here ripping lips at the river. Landon, I mean, literally the first cast of the day, catches a nice smallmouth. Um, we got that on video. I didn't get him catching it, but I got him reeling in. I'm tied on the rattle trap right now. I'm just hoping I can smack one here. There's a little, there's little ones over there, but they wouldn't bite my little ultralight bait on there. So I'm throwing a rattle trap right now, which hopefully we'll get one. What we're using, Landon, the crankbait with the skirt. Yeah. We're using the crankbait with the skirt. Let's let's do it up there. By the bag. Or, or there. We should do it. Let's do it under the bridge. We're doing a catch, clean, and cook. And the video planned out, but we didn't get the video because I hadn't even got my stuff undone yet. And Landon was ripping lips. Oh, there's some. Shag. But yeah, we're gonna fish for a little bit longer, then we're gonna get into the cooking part, and then we're gonna clean it, cook it, catch it. No, catch, clean, catch, clean, cook. Yeah, hopefully, I can get one. Maybe a bigger one. I've got bigger ones, but I just hopefully. Let's catch a nice size one here. I know there's some down here because there's a bunch of catfish too. I probably can catch a catfish. And I brought my bow in case we see any carp. I can slock them. But yeah, let's keep fishing. Luca just caught a little shiner. So I'm the only one that hasn't caught anything yet. I'm gonna work my way over there so I can at least get on the board. We're trying to find some, well, we already got sticks, but we're trying to find some paper because I forgot paper. It's never good, but I might have some in my wallet. But yeah, all right. We're gonna go fishing. The technique is Luca's gonna start jigging and then I'm gonna get the bow and there's big ones. He just caught a nice one. But two of them. The big ones the big ones went somewhere. I don't know. Here, do it do it right there. Do it right there. Do they move different there. places each time. Do it over there, do it over there. Maybe he's over here now. I said, oh, he's right there, he's right there. Do it over here, do it over here. Right there, Timmy. Right there. Can you not cast? Is it like out of your jurisdiction? Right there. How do you tangle a flip here, Luca? Seriously, you can take a little button rod if we get to it. Yeah, right there. You can cast where I can see, like I said, like right there. I can't see. Right there. See like that. Oh yeah, there's the big ones. Okay, we just set up camp up here. Caught a couple fish down there. And my brother, he shot a bluegill. And Landon caught a bass, a smallmouth, and then I just been catching these little fish. It's whatever. But now we're starting to fire and flaying them. And yeah, about to eat them. Guys, we're here. We're cleaning the fish. We got. I shot one with my bow, and I'm sorry I didn't get it on video, but um, I shot it with my bow, and I took pictures on my phone. So I'm sure I'm gonna play right now. And yeah, so I shot him with my bow, a nice bluegill, I hit it right on the dot. I was aiming for the dot. I messed up one fillet, but I think we'll be good. I'm gonna get the other one. It's a decent size. Um, she was just sitting there. There was like rocks, and I couldn't figure out where she kept going. She kept going back to the same place. So then I just went up there and I slocked her. The recurve. Where's my recurve? I don't know. Mm. Alright, yeah, so, yeah. So we're gonna get to open these things, and here's how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna take tin foil, put them in the tin foil. I usually have butter, but today I don't because we weren't planning on staying too long. But we're staying for a little bit longer, so what we're gonna do put tin foil, then we take uh, seasoning. We got red hot. We're gonna red hot first, then uh, Cajun salt and pepper. Then we're gonna put it up in there and then let it set it in the coals. And for the smallmouth, we either, I think we're going to rotisserie it. I don't know. This one's Landon came in clutch. The smallmouth. It's not the biggest, but it's a keeper. It's over 12 inches. So, yeah. We're going to get 
and we're gonna go set a catfish pole, which I know there's catfish, so and we can get a bigger smallmouth. I'm trying to get a small smallmouth to put in my fish tank, but yeah, thanks for watching and go ahead and like and subscribe and we're gonna keep fishing here. Alright, see ya. Alright guys, thanks for watching and we had a pretty good day so far. Um, we're gonna go back, we're gonna chill out I guess, play some Xbox, do whatever. Um, we had fun, I bow fished one, Lana caught some, we caught a couple squeakers and stuff. We're cooking a little bit what we have left right now. And uh, I mean yeah, I mean it's pretty good so far. We didn't get to film much of it because the camera wasn't out as much. Because there was a lot of action so I mean, it was just hard to keep the camera on as much as we could. But we still got content. Clean, catch, and cook. Well, no. Catch, clean, cook. Catch, clean, cook. Yeah. <laughs> catch, clean, cook. So, uh, I think we're going to walk up this creek a little bit just to see what it looks like. But then we're going to get something to drink. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. All right, here. We're, we're here with Virtue Outdoors. And uh, we are doing a little bait review. I have a good friend. I don't know if you say good friend. But he's a, he's a good friend. Yeah, he's a good friend. Uh, he makes really nice baits, and he hooked me up with a box, and I'm just going to do a review on them. I went fishing, and I took them. I fished with a little bit of them, and I caught just a little small mouth on them on one one bait. It's tied on now. It's uh, down on my, where my fishing poles are at and stuff, and I just want to go ahead and do a little quick review on it. Um, I think these baits are fantastic. I love them. I just can't wait to fish with some of them, and uh, yeah, here we go first bait I want to do, which I think is the coolest bait he's ever made in his life. Uh, it says goldfish. This and this are not his baits. This freaking goldfish. It's kind of hard to see, but I don't know. Um, it's a goldfish. It's kind of heavy. It's like, uh, I don't know what he said. He, I got it somewhere. He said how heavy it was, but it's a cool looking bait, and he's caught some, I think he's caught a big fish on this before. I was texting him back and forth. And I can't wait to fish with this. I mean, it, it's just a beautiful bait. He paints him himself, does all of it himself, which is awesome. Here, if you see that, it's like, uh, yeah, I just think it's cool. Then, this is probably going to be my third favorite bait. This is probably like my first favorite bait. This has got to be like my third favorite. It's just bluegill. They're mostly swim baits, and it came with two crank baits. It's pretty sweet. It's like uh, a metallic, almost like gold. It's real shiny. It's. I don't know if he, I think he might have painted it, but I, it's a great color, it's like black on the top, it's, it's bluegill, and it, it's, it's pretty, I love this thing, it's pretty sweet, it's got the white stripes and everything, and, alright, we're going into the next bait here, this is a shad, it's like a, it kind of looks like a bluegill, but it's painted in a shad, sorry I can't get too close to the camera, but, um, this one's probably my second favorite bait because it's small, and I know ponds where this would slay bass, and I'd probably catch a bigger bass than normal with this pond because I know there's big ones in there, but I've never really caught them. This is going to be a bait that I'm going to be tying on every time I go to a, a pond anywhere. It's going to be the first bait I tie on. I just love the colors of it. Uh, the it's, It puts so much into it that it just makes it look like a real fish. Um, we're going to the second bait. This one I'm excited to use. I go to fish at Dillon Lake a lot, and this is going to be a bait that's going to be perfect for the fish out there. Uh, maybe not. I feel like the saw guy down there would kill kill that thing if you hit it the right place, the right time. But this one, I know for sure he painted. And, I, dude, just the color on these things are just, it's beautiful. It's like a majestic painting person did it. I'm just kidding. But no, the, I, I, he puts a lot of time and effort in these baits, and I'm just, I'm happy that I get to use these baits and test them out. I'm going to the one, two, three, four, fifth, fifth bait. Oh, this, these hooks hurt too. This is a, it'd be a square bill crankbait. It's a, it's a painted trout color, and I know I threw this for a couple times, and uh, I like the way it feels on the rod. It's not like too heavy, but it's not too light where you're not feeling anything. It's like right there. And I didn't get any bites, unfortunately, but I have a feeling in the future that I'm going to get some good bites on it. And I am fishing in a small river by me. It's got smallmouth, catfish, rock bass, bluegill, pretty much anything. I did bow fish a little bit, and I 
sloth one. I didn't know. I, don't, I think I might have got a camera. I'm not sure. But yeah, this bait I'm looking forward to catching fish on. And I've got another crankbait. It's kind of it's kind of like just a little bit smaller. It's like a medium sized crankbait. And that one I caught a smallmouth on. I, I really like it. Um, it's uh it puts it puts this into a different category. As like this would be a crankbait. It's uh. I don't know how to say it. it's like a, this would be a bigger crankbait. It's it's a little bit smaller, but it's there. It, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of hard to explain, but they're just too, like, this is, I want to say, like, the thickness, but this is more of, like, a longer one. This is more short, and the crankbait down there is about this size, but it's, like, skinnier and thinner, and it's just a perfect bass crankbait. And then he gave me this top water he painted, which I think is probably the coolest painted bait in here. It's a little top walk, top water, and I, I think it's a dog walker, or uh, something like that. It's got a dog or a walker in it or something, but I can't wait to slay on that. I know a pond, or actually Dylan, you can catch saw at Dylan like this. I've caught many things at Dylan with this, and well, this is not a bait that he painted, but it's a little rattle trap. I catch stuff. That's like my go-to bait, and he, he painted me a trout. Um, it's in my tackle box, but he painted me a trout. And baits I usually time when I go fishing is either trout or this. Those are my first two baits I throw. And then I'll probably tie on a jerk bait during like the spring times. <sighs> yeah, so we we're gonna roll the footage of the fishing trip we had and thank you Travis for making these baits. And uh hope to get some more. Thank you.